You know what they say about wrecking. I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like a sumo. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. We can watch the game a real the shame. Story of it. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know I how understand. I understand. I lost it on opportunity to make a choice. Hold on. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> Did I not? Any of that seem important to you? All of them. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Well, that doesn't look very good. Some of us is something very, very bad. I'm it's driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over, right where you're sitting. Oh wow, there's not on my seat. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my yep. car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Mm -hmm. I think he actually believed it himself. Yep. Dominic, you're next to me, don't... Yes, you it can be here. to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, well, that's funny. I got funny. another good one for you. Uh this one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In the road. This other time... How do you know he died? You, you played this before? You put. How do you know? decisions on what I'm about to do here, okay? So can you please help me with that instead of whatever you're doing, my guy? It's a Yandere Simulator knockoff. Thirsty. Ah, fuck. You're kidnapping somebody and taking them to a basement. Do you realize what you're doing right now? Nope. Oh, 
man. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. No, I'm doing good, buddy. You know, just laying in my own blood. Man, broken arms are dope. Okay, now I need to figure out what I'm doing with my life. Myself out that window. That's a good idea. You know, you'd know if you paid attention, my guy. Yeah, I think so. This is why I say you gotta pay attention, Dominic. You keep asking what happened when you would know if you just watched, okay? I definitely not. I'm not trying to be mean, but you confuse me sometimes. This in the name of I can't think of something funny. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs on. I did nigga, give me a shit. Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. I just love when you say the same thing twice in a row. Such a nice experience. Give me your shit. shit. Whoopsie. Person. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! That's what he's worried about, huh? Yeah, this man is too innocent for prison. Don't you think it's time we um make that load not the case? Okay. I have no idea how to move. Ugh. <sighs> 
Dominic, how did you feel about that officer? I felt like he deserved. I felt like at first Hello? he didn't really deserve anybody to die in that crash. But then once he turned into a zombie, I thought he actually really deserved it for trying to eat. So you think that's some that he deserves something for something he didn't do yet? You called him Luke. I called him Luke. You need. You watch a lot. Of, you watch too much Jesse, my guy. Anybody up there? AJ, you okay? I'm doing good. How are you? Help! AJ, try talk. I'll talk when I want to. I'm like, what did you think I was doing? You absolute raw potato. Oh, look at T-Set. I claim this in the name of our. I, I really don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be saying. I claim this in the name of the Minutemen. You, you would not get that joke. I can confirm that. Somebody, yell if you can hear me. Hello, anybody home? Need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. You that he's not an intruder. Dude, I can hear everything. These people might need more. They try to make I jokes be funny. I can't make jokes on the I know, I live with you. Oh look, it's big blood. That's not very dope. Whoopsie. Pay attention. Time to do it all over. I'm not too late. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little yep. incident with some crazy Just guy near the hotel, oh, so we had yeah. to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, get he's it. not feeling no. well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. Oh, look, it's I don't know orange. if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave Pay and attention. aren't telling us anything about it. They're Atlanta. literally telling you what happens. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. Nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. You hear that, Orange? They died. I never would have thought that. Daddy? Huh? With good help. I'll do what I want. Rob Potato 1, are Hello? you there? It is your boy. You Rob quiet. Potato 2. I hear that way too often. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Should we tell her? Tell her. Who? What's she? 
What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Well, time to die. Watch a little girl get paid Hi about there. fifty dollars, then turn into a zombie and murder twenty-seven people. Did you kill it? I think something else did before me. I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. <gasps> two nights ago? No, not the yeah, monsters. That's probably what happened. You've Nobody been wants to get caught all by monsters. yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Get out of here. Dominique, yeah. make this decision. Should we get out of here? Before the sun go wait, should we wait for the sun to go down, or get or leave before it's dark? You're the horror movie, my um, genius. I don't want them to get in this sleep, so look for help before it gets dark. Thank you. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. I want to move your the mic away a little bit further from your mouth. Let's go. Stay close to me. Master Lee. Uh, uh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. Let's go. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? We're going to be mean to everybody except Kenny and Clementine. Understood? No, those are the only people we're, hey, we're not allowed to be mean to. Oh, everybody else is Everybody else, everybody else should grow up. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. 
So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Chet Snow, we're we'll saving Chet. Like How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. Chet. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming out. We gotta go. Leave me quick. Let's go. Yes, getting some done. Organizing the team. Sacrificing Chet. The heroes. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. I'm... I ain't gonna lie. I'm really liking Jet right Thank now. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Jet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed? before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. The more crazy somebody is, the more likely we have to help them. I didn't get nice. your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, 
looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Look at The fuck you Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <sighs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Sing with me. These hoes ain't loyal. Hey, get up. Yep. I've been doing what happened. Itchy. Well, you slept His wife in a was barn, a little bit of a hoe. Lucky you don't have spiders She's a little bit of a um, S-H-N-A. But I bet your daddy scared them all away. S-H-A-N-N-O. I'm not a dad. Yep. So she, um, they both got shot. Oh, it's the abomination. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Well, the burnt orange is doing good. That's good to hear. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help and... We just passed people over some, just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? 
Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. The crack cocaine! Okay. comes in a lot of different colors. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Uh, look at her. <laughs> you two That's actually funny. look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. The fuck it is. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, you know? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Dominique, do you know any impressions? It seems like an alright dude. You know how to like fake a voice or something? Huh? You don't know how to fake somebody's voice? No. Hey, LA, come here. Oh shit, it's stuck. We don't talk about Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive. Do you know any impressions? I'm in Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You're all pathetic. <laughs> Can't look out of here from Jesse. Hey, Lee. Who the fuck are you talking about? We don't compare Luke to Duck. Duck is nothing like Luke. Him? I prefer Luke. That'd be great. Duck is a if you cut shit. those two guys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. Mm, you think it was, um, like you think. And a secondary duck? Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. There's way too many ducks. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. If you're gonna talk, get over Maybe here. Maybe so not I too bad Get you on mic. Nobody wants to That's hear me talk to I myself. To I don't want to hear that Thanks. either. Plus, so late. What'd you ask? Killed her, obviously. I would have killed her too. How? She was the hell. Hoes get what they get. Hoes get what they deserve. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. That was a terrible thing to say. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm your foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You're retarded, Duck. Up here I go. Time to have a convo. Nope, wrong place. I'm a retard. Yo, slim. That's okay. The raw potatoes are having a good time. Time to talk to old man. I forgot his name. I have absolutely...
absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe we shouldn't have put it on minimal, Dominique. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. I'm kind of vibe with them, not gonna lie. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. You having a nice time with Katja Clementine? Yeah. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I thought I got rid of my notif- I thought I turned off my notifications. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids in your Nah, we don't touch Kenny, okay? Kenny's good. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. So is Kenny. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna faze us. They're only tough because of Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. We still talk to Kenny? Nope, guess not. Oh, the key's here. Oh, time to um, leave. Is this when he dies? No. Shut the fuck up. So he dies with Kenny the doesn't the die yet. So he dies with the I don't know what you're talking How'd you get out of Atlanta? Stop spoiling stuff, and also no. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. 
Look, look at this. Something no, bad happened. I blame Duck. Stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I, uh, stupid, stupid duck. This is all duck's fault. Your duck should have been gone first. Stupid duck. Now he wants to watch. He wants to watch him. <laughs> Suffer, peasant. <laughs> That's it. Okay, if I do your best duck impression, okay, Dominique? You've been quiet for over an hour. Okay. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. It's Duck's fault. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends are cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Stupid fucking duck. How do you feel about duck? He a bitch. He a bitch? How do you how do you feel about duck? He shall perish. He shall perish? I think he deserves that. Yeah. Yeah, stupid fucking duck. Nobody likes duck. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. How do you feel about duck? The fucking child you read up. The annoying child, Kenny's kid. That kid right there, you see him? Why is this kid so annoying? Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. Look at that, look at Duck. Now we're all about to die because of Duck. Stupid Duck. Let it happen. God damn it, Kenny. Oh shit, he's hurt. How dare she, she saved Duck. Yeah, she saved up. Here you go. That is not how locks work. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. And I remember her. She's retarded. Are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he, or anyone will. 
This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? I see what a poo poo head. I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something. I'm sorry, I just realized something. Made a little bit of an oopsie. Pretty actually. Yep. Can't let that happen again. You have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. It's that He's war an zone. asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits! We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. Oh, no, we have side to Kenny. You know how to see how no it is. Fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Wait, what do we do about this guy? We beat his ass! Yes, it's just a boy. It, it, we kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, shut the fuck we're up. about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Ooh, I don't care. I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten it's alive. It's stuck. Only reason I'm doing this is because right? I'm I'm with Kenny. This is his son. Look I am a Kenny daughter. fan girl. <laughs> I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Oh, it's fucking up. Your ass, boy. Fuck We've you. all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's Find your business. Way. Yeah, with a shovel. Yes, I... I'm gonna kill him, cat. Yeah. Elaine, are you... Are you I... Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. Do you think you're it's a Kenny fan locked. girl? Yes. You're a Kenny fan girl too? If I Probably. was straight, yes. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out Bitch, for my I don't dog. care if you are no, gay, homosexual, or bi. You will be a He's Kenny fan girl, okay? In muck. She'll find the bike. Okay, Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, and that's dope. when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! He looks like a white Uncle Ruckus. Knock this guy out. Like never... oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. How the hell did that, that nigga knock? How did he knock out Kenny? Ah, shoot. Ah, uh, fiddlesticks. Made an oopsie. Me, I fell. Clemmy. Oh, fuck. Can I just call her? Just, just forget I said that. Okay, boom, boom. Bam. He's dead. High five. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. I gotta get in. Shut up. Is that deleted? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh. 
Ah, oh, look at him. He has a heart attack. Ha ah, ha ha. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Okay. He knows Macon, you hear that? Born and raised. If you're gonna he knows Macon. Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. He knows Macon. Hopefully, that's all we need Macon. to know. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. His dad. These boys are working on her dad's gay. That's right. Uh -huh. you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll uh, shift in with no, Doug. I don't like the way they For they now, just get some rest. Set their names You're at the same time. That means I'm gonna like to keep it that way. One of them. You got it, boss. Now get him those I'll pills. Trust it. <sighs> Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. No batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I own this store. This is my domain. You're, everybody who lives here needs to pray to me. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. They all must die. Are you hungry, child? Well, too bad. I'm hungry, too. Fuck you. We'll give it to Clementine, but Duck's gay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I'm about to give the other one to my homeboy, Kenny. I gave her, um, a bar of shit. We can't let anything happen. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I can't talk to Kenny alone. I have to talk to Duck. Fine. Hey, Lee, Fine. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've yeah, all been Duck, how are you doing? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. How's Duck doing? He's okay. Yeah. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Now the 
family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. See that? You got a second? Sure. The person you hated on is the only one with any common sense. Besides Ken. farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens, Kenny. It's okay. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. That's because it's your fault. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. PlayStation or Xbox? Oh look, a candy bar. No. I give it to the old, to the old guy. Nah, never mind. I'm good. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Why would I have a single battery though? Really? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. You're that orange. You're that burnt orange. You need it to be watered. Oh, another battery. Dope. Oh, she had a gun for a second. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. What's up, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. So. Yesterday, the ship around It was an experience. I'm not sure how you describe it. It was kind of a shitty one. I had to. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, it's my big brother. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hand on that thing. Bitchy Ever Everett. Oh, See that? That's shit. his name. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, Doc.
look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I know what I have to do. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. It's funny because they didn't even go in the office yet. You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized Beach all the codes when I was in the break. Let's try. Throw it. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense you just might my head. life. Yeah. Who's to say it already Sorry. hasn't? I'm just gonna... Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Is there still pizza? No, Dominic, there are no pizza pockets. We prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Yeah, I might mess up a little bit. I can't reach that brick. Then make him get it, you read it, you read it. No, we don't talk about that. Don't don't mention that ever again. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. She's a furry. I don't fucking care. To control your character, you're able to design your character in this game. Yep. Can you give it back now? Bigger, please. May I ask why your character has titties bigger than her foot? Sorry, but I just said. To... I'm sorry. When you um. Why does your character have titties bigger than her foot? I don't know. That's how she was designed. I'm not the one who gave it in. Mm-hmm. Okay, furry. Thanks. We are not cool. We're not. Tell him to get the goddamn break. My god damn. You can reach through the fucking bars. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Then let me I can't out. Reach brick. It's a combination lock. I'm really gonna have to go back in. I can't reach that brick. <sighs> Let's head back inside. Back in. Okay. Are you retarded? Did you just call this the purge? Oh, you're at the sirens. Well, no, I don't think the purge is today, Alea. I believe it is next week. So, how do you want to go about this? You want to just stay at home, eat pizza rolls, or do you want to fly to Africa and get the Ebola virus? I don't want it to happen. Oh, wait, no, I know we could go to Wuhan. Yeah, that'd be a nice place to visit. Uh, especially during the purge. Like, that'd be, that'd be dope, don't you think? This is why I said you. This is why I said you need a mic. G Station. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I don't G want to. Station. Don't mention J Station. Do not mention him. Keep him out of this. I do not want to talk to him. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. 
Oh wow, humor, ha <laughs> A funny female. You hear that, Leia? This female is funny. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. What the fuck are you playing? Leia, look at this. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yo, Leia, you wanna use Dominic's mic? Nope. No way, Dad. Cause right now she's just kinda sitting there and then talking about her stupid game. Mm. And playing whatever that is, Big Titty Simulator. Really? Yeah, that, that's what it's called now. That's what I'm calling it, Big Titty Simulator. Yeah, but AJ, don't call it Big Titty. I'll call it whatever I want. That game is now called Big Titty Simulator, understood? It's called Schoolgirl Simulator. It's pretty much Yonder Simulator. But I'm calling it Big Titty Simulator because I can. Understood? So stop questioning what I said. Does this look good? It's got your life. It looks gay. It's not gay. It is. It's disgusting. It's, it disgusts me. I can't think about them in here. Yes, you can, Lee. Think about them. Become incredibly depressed. That's how it works. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <sighs> this door leads to the back alley. I have no face. I don't care. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. You stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. <laughs> Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Somebody make that a song! Somebody make that a song! I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I know why. Shut up, Lemmy. I know no, why. No, 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 hey, don't you dare to tell Lemmy to shut up. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's that? This is my papa's my dream. dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. And was he sick? Uh, he was okay. What do you want? Our workshop lift is with him. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. I really thought they were about to give me an option to say that. Put your fingers in the drawers. You took a big bite there, son. The fuck I did. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history. So you know how many TF2 like jo jokes I could have just like, made, right? Um, social studies? I was trying yeah, my like best that. not to so that somebody doesn't Daddy, get annoyed. You didn't answer my question. 
Engineer. <laughs> All right, no further. What character am I playing as right now? Engineer Heavy Scout. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? We're playing a distorted memory chapter. Because they're dead. I just oh. killed Bonnie. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into a fight once. Then what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. That's thing. Yep, let her know that you're murder early so that she doesn't get angry at you later. Are you okay? That's not good. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. That is not how you're supposed to bleed. I'll find you a bandage. No fighting! No fighting, buddy! Stop Shut fighting! Shut the fuck up. No fighting. No fighting. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. I don't care. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Find anything? It's a photo of the family home, this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Upsie. You're Lee Evans. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world has ended out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I told myself I was about to be a to do that, don't you think? When 
gotta head back into the. Could you stop delivery? talking about Piggy? Okay. For God's sake. Lee. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Can I make fun of him? How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting me down. And that violence before with my dad? It didn't help. What? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Gotta tell him. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh. Uh... No, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She's been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh... I'm kind of in the jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. <laughs> hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. That's what I call the sharpshooter. <laughs> I'm so funny. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead.
fixed it. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. Doors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Well, that's not good. Oh well. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Don, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Oh, God. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that interesting. I know, Doc. Nope. Those TVs are on. I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, well, Carly's pretty nice. You know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. Yeah, bad guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon me, French. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of, I kind of prefer Canadian. Korean. Can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted.
Yeah, he definitely should have died by now. Zombie out in the street. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I'm gonna get back to him now. family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. You kidding me? Get down! Notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trap up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner, the hell are you I heard crying right? coming from inside. How in the oh, hell are you? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in to help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. 
over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Gwen's damsel in distress. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. He's gone and we can't use that much. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. They really want to get into that room. You need to find a weapon. I'm done trying to punch out a window. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to 
get it quietly. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Clear out the area around the RV. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Or something inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
Did you just nice. assume my gender? For sure. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, That's not very Christian-like either. Dead. So it's suicide, you fucking whore. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. 
And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. doing good want to go have a look around outside let's have a look around okay
There we go. Holy crap! Run! Oh, I'm done. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Not good at all. Hey, mommy, how you doing? Happy Mother's Day. Friend. 
hear that? Step one, a good friend. Yo, who, who's excited to kill the old man? I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm done with this today. Uh, my back. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. your hot pocket you would have seen me touch your hot pocket. Huh? You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's... It's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Super Dinosaur was toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. 
I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So? It can't really help us. But... I know. It's just... I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bears. Look at me. Apparently people think I'm normal. Hope I hope everybody have a good night. Rude bagels are just confused potatoes. Shut 